Hi there, it's Kevin here, and I'm gonna just quickly take you through migrating your EXOS tokens to XOXO. So uh, make sure that firstly that you are logged in to the OpenEXO platform. Uh, so you will see uh, here I'm logged in as the mad scientist, and you then will head over to openexo.com slash XOXO, and that will bring you to this page. What you will see is that the first step is that you need to download the Casper wallet. Please do read this, uh, it'll give you more information. But the first step is to download the Casper wallet. So if I click on that, it is going to take me here uh, to the Casper wallet. It automatically shows up as mobile. I want to click on browser so that I can uh, add it to my uh, Chrome browser. You'll see that you can add it to Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Brave, as well as Safari. So uh, you click download to download uh, the Casper wallet. I'm on Chrome, so I'm going to add that to my Chrome. <clears throat> I am going to add the extension. It is then going to ask me to get started. I'm going to need to create a password. Uh, read the terms of service and create that password. Oh dear, it needs to be at least 16 characters long. Oh dear, that, that's not correct. So uh, ultimately, that's good to know. I'm going to create that password. Next, you need to create a secret recovery phase. And so uh, you're going to create this. This is important that you understand. You have to keep this phrase. Um, this is important for you. Um, please do read uh, everything here. And you click that you understand. Please note this is just a test. So I'm going to actually show you the, the, the seed phrase, etc. You should never, ever, ever show anyone this phrase. Okay, so you need to uh, click to reveal this. This will reveal and you can copy this to a, a clipboard. Uh, storing this just on your computer, not a good idea. You should store it behind a password. It is important that, that this is stored and written down because your next step, you're going to need to, you are going to need to uh, give all, all of these phrases. Okay, so I'm going to uh, click that I confirm I've written it down. I'm going to click next. And it is then going to ask me uh, to choose the six words one by one to complete the secret phase. Okay, and this is where you now need to do that. I'm going to press pause here and get this done. Okay, so you once you've done that, you then click confirm. And uh, then you can say done and got it. This will then add the Casper wallet. You can pin it if you want it to appear uh, and you will be able to see your Casper wallet here. That is perfect. Now we are going to uh, connect the wallet. Uh, you may need to refresh your screen uh, uh, if it keeps taking you to the to the page to uh, upload your wallet. Uh, I mean, to download your wallet. Uh, so, whoopsie. So let's do this again. You click Casper wallet. You choose that account. You click next. Uh, you click connect to one account. This will then connect the account, and you can continue to the dashboard. 
Now you will be on the dashboard. You will see uh, that you have your Casper wallet. You'll see a balance of zero and you can click to migrate EXOs. You can then choose the number of tokens you want to migrate. In this case, I am going to, to just choose 10 uh, uh, and you will then click start migration. This will then give you a link that you need to copy. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to head over to my EXO's core wallet. Uh, I am going to now log in to the wallet. This example is with the core wallet. If you're using the Electrum wallet, it would work in exactly the same way. And so I'm going to just log in here. And I'm going to unlock. I'm then going to click send. First of all, what is really important is that your core wallet is in fact up to date and uh, here you can see I have two connections I am 100% synced I have a tick in the cloud here which means that my core wallet is good to go I'm going to send 10 tokens to that destination address I need to put in my wallet address wallet password again and I'm then going to click send this is then going to give me a transaction ID, which I am going to copy to the clipboard. I'm then going to come back and I'm going to present that transaction ID right here. And I am going to confirm the transfer. It then will tell me that it, uh, the transfer is in progress. If it gives you an error that says try again, um, that may be because your wallet a transaction has not uh, gone through. What you want to ensure is that uh, the, the wallet transaction is on the block explorer so that it can be seen uh, by uh, the system. So uh, ultimately I will return to the dashboard and I got here uh, a bit late. Uh, it already says success here. Uh, if it is still transacting, you will see that uh, over here. And you will see that my 10 exos has become 100 exo exo. And so that is how you uh, go through the process. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we do have an FAQ below. And you'll be able to uh, check that out. Um, and if you need any assistance, the team is here to help. So I hope that was helpful and it is now time to transfer all of your EXOs over to EXOXO. You can always start with a small amount like I've done and then move on to larger amounts. Uh, please do note that uh, with larger amounts, those might take a little bit longer. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Thank you, everybody. If you enjoyed that, then like this video and subscribe to our channel. The algorithm thinks you'll enjoy this video next.